Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm sure most of you watching this have probably seen the latest video by Hand Tool Rescue, where he restores a fascinating type of vice that closes tightly on weirdly shaped objects. Needless to say, I wanted one, and thought that it could be a pretty cool 3D print. So I set about creating my own version that can be made on a 3D printer. A quick note, I'm not claiming for this to be a replica of the original version. I did look at the original patent documents and take some rudimentary measurements, but my version is designed to be optimised for 3D printing rather than being a faithful recreation. Also, while it is mostly done, this is still a work in progress so print with caution. While all I'm planning to change is these small end jaws, there's no guarantee that I don't find more major changes to make down the line. Anyways, moving on, how did I get to this point? To begin with, I looked at the original patent and tried to get some numbers to work with. Here I'm using Photoshop to take some pretty rough measurements, where I came across a pattern in the size of the jaws. Each jaw was 48% the size of the previous jaw. In hindsight it was probably more like each jaw was half the size of the previous jaw, but I went with this 0.48 number for the rest of my measurements. From here, I had one number to work off of, and that was that I wanted the smallest jaw to have a 10mm diameter. So I worked from that to get the sizes of each jaw. With these measurements, it was all just a matter of laying it out. At first, I had in my mind that dovetails were not going to work for a print of this scale, and tried to come up with an alternative. I designed this mess of grooves and pins and intended to use elastic to hold the jaws together, but after printing it and not being so happy with the results, I went back to see if I could make a dovetail work instead. Long story short, I could, so that's what I went with. The dovetails may need a small amount of sanding, but I found it wasn't required for all of them. The observant among you may have noticed that this vice is in two parts. That's because I'm an idiot and made it way too short the first time, so rather than reprint the whole body, I just made myself a little add-on piece. This has obviously been fixed in the current version. A couple of other things. Firstly, why two lead screws? Uh, well, one reason is that this gear setup looks cool. But the main reason is that it spreads the force out more evenly in an attempt to stop the slides of the drawers from bending up so much. The drawers still do flex a little, but that's kind of just what it is with plastic this thin. It does look pretty bad in this clip, um, but to be fair, this isn't really a force that you'd ever be applying, um, you know, like from the bottom. Um, if you're pushing down on something, the, the part remains rock solid, has been my experience so far. Another thing I want to change is how I mount the vise to the bench. At the moment there are four holes to screw it down, which is fine, um, but two of them in a really inconvenient location that makes it really hard to take off again, so that's another thing I want to change. Uh, as a final note, the holes on the back of the vise. These are intended for any attachments that could be useful while using the vise. Perhaps arms like this for soldering or gluing aid. Or maybe a light or a magnifying glass. Again, not a fleshed out concept, but the idea is there. While these vices are cool to look at, I still want it to be a useful tool. And I do think that it has the potential for that. If I didn't think that this vice was a useful tool in some form, I wouldn't be releasing it. On the topic of using it as a tool, I definitely think it is strong enough to be used that way. Definitely for soldering, gluing, painting, but also filing and engraving. It holds stuff surprisingly well for something that is 3D printed. The addition of silicone or rubber to the smallest jaws is something I plan on experimenting with since I think that could take it to the next level, but as it stands, it's still plenty strong enough. Anyways, that's all the info done. A quick note, thank you all for 1000 subscribers. I was going to release my 1000 sub special a few days ago, but this vice got in the way. So here's a sneak peek instead. If that interests you, or you want to stay up to date with the vice project, then maybe consider subscribing as well. Parts are linked in the description, and thanks as always for watching. 